Hey friends, welcome back. I'm Trailblazer Tim. So it's a bit of a chilly inclement day here in Central Florida, so we opted out of going out in the woods for the day. Instead, we're gonna stay here at the RV and take care of some of those chores I've been putting off. So as you all know, I enjoy spending a great deal of my time outdoors, such as hiking, fishing, camping, cooking, you name it. Now, long after the videos are over and the camera has stopped rolling, you have to take the time to do some maintenance on some of the things that you take with you out on your adventures. I'm talking mainly about the things such as knives, hatchets, axes, machetes, and those other kind of tools that you see me use in a lot of my videos. So I figured today would be as good as any day for me to pull some of those old knives I have laying around and do some much neglected maintenance on them. As you can see down below, there's a couple knives that I have sitting there. One's a Mora knife and the other one is an old timer Schrade that have been long overlooked. And we are going to be working on that knife right there today and I'm gonna show you how to restore that back to looking like new. Ah, uh, one of my favorite knives I own, Schrade Old Timer. This baby here is over 40 years old. It was given to me by my grandfather before he died. You might have seen me in a video a few months ago doing knife throwing. This thing is well patinaed. We got some work to do to this sucker. Now we're not going to spend any time on the handle of this Schrade old timer knife today, but more so on this blade. We're going to start on our blade restoration by using a multi-tool Dremel with a 3000 grit attachment. Now wait before you start freaking out saying, Tim, you're going to ruin that. No, I'm not. This is going to be used for general purpose of polishing the blade body as well as the spline on here while staying away from our beveled edge. Safety first. We're going to begin with some 3-in-1 multi-purpose oil and we're going to apply a little bit to our Dremel attachment as well as just a little bit to the blade itself. Oh yeah, before I get too far ahead of myself, I just want to demonstrate to you how on sharp this knife is. That's pretty dull. Well, now that we've managed to knock a little bit of that old patina off here, I'm able to read what kind of a blade this is. This is a Schrade 150T Deer Slayer. See? Look. It's an old Deer Slayer. It's a skinning knife. Now it's time to get into a little bit of fine tuning on the polish and finish on this blade before we tackle the sharpening edge.
Now, I don't know if you can see it or not, but right up in here is a tiny little gouge in the blade, in the sixth blade shred. We need to try to get that out of there so we can get this nice and sharp right there. Wow, that's sharp. Bang! Look at that sexy looking knife. Ooh, baby. That is sweet. Ooh. Well, hey, that's all the time we got for this one. Thanks so much for hanging out and watching the video. The Schrade Old Timer 150T Classic Deer Slayer Knife. I know I'm going to hear about it in the comments. I'm by no means a knife expert, but it's been way too long sitting and looking at this old knife looking like crap. And it was finally time for me to put a little bit of restoration to it. Cuts like a brand new blade as well. Got any questions or comments, leave them down below. Till next time, I'll see you on the next adventure. Take care.